Have you ever pondered the true essence of love and light in our lives? This question reverberates through time and space, touching the deepest parts of our souls. It is a question that has been asked and re-asked over the centuries, and it forms the core of a profound book in the New Testament, the Book of 1 John. This book, filled with wisdom and guidance, passionately speaks about love and light. It's a book that invites us to a higher understanding of these two fundamental aspects of our existence. Today, we will begin a journey to break down the book of 1 John, chapter by chapter, to uncover the profound messages it holds. We will dissect each verse, each line, and each word to gain a deeper understanding of its timeless wisdom. So, prepare your hearts and minds as we embark on this enlightening journey through the book of 1 John. But remember, this journey is not just about understanding, but also about transformation. Join us on this enlightening journey through the book of 1 John. Chapter 1 of 1 John begins with a profound affirmation. It's a declaration of what has been seen, heard, and touched, the word of life. This chapter is an invitation, a call to fellowship with the Father and the Son. It's about sharing in the joy that's complete, a joy that's only found in a relationship with God. Moving forward, the chapter then confronts us with the stark contrast between light and darkness. It's an encouragement to walk in the light, for God himself is light. There are no shadows, no hidden corners in his presence. If we claim to be in fellowship with him while walking in darkness, we're not living out the truth. But here's the good news. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us. This isn't just about acknowledging our wrongs. It's about turning away from them, walking towards the light. Chapter 1 sets the tone for the rest of the book, calling us towards truth and light. Chapter 2 of 1 John presents us with a challenge. We're urged to obey God's commandments, a concept as old as time, yet as relevant today as ever. The Apostle John reminds us that obeying the commandments is a tangible demonstration of our love for God. But there's a twist. John introduces what he calls a new commandment, the commandment of love. This isn't just a warm, fuzzy feeling. It's a sacrificial, selfless love that mirrors the love Christ has for us. This love is then supposed to radiate outward, impacting our relationships with others. Lastly, John doesn't shy away from the tough topics. He warns about the Antichrist, not as a singular figure of evil, but as anyone who denies Christ. This chapter calls us to remain vigilant and discerning. So what's the challenge in chapter 2? It's simple yet profound. Chapter 2 calls us to love, obey, and be discerning. Chapter 3 of 1 John is all about identifying as children of God. In this chapter, John brings to light the profound love God has for us, that we should be called His children. This love, so vast and unconditional, is not just a title or a status, but a reality that shapes our identity. We're also called to purify ourselves, to strive for righteousness as God is righteous. This is not merely about following rules or religious rituals. It's about the transformation of our hearts, our minds, and our actions in response to God's love. And then we have the emphasis on love and righteousness as the hallmarks of being God's children. Love, not just in words, but love that takes action. Righteousness, not just as a concept, but a way of life. In chapter 3, we are reminded of our divine heritage and the call to love. Chapter 4 of 1 John teaches us how to discern spirits. This chapter is a profound exploration of love and truth. At its heart, it calls us to love God and love one another. But it's not just about love in a vague general sense. It's about the kind of love that comes from God, the love that is God. This is a self-giving love, a love that seeks the best for others above all else. The chapter also delves into the concepts of the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. It urges us to be discerning, to test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Here John warns us against false prophets, against those who might lead us astray. Importantly, the spirit of truth acknowledges Jesus Christ, acknowledges his coming in the flesh, and this is the spirit that is from God. In essence, chapter 4 calls us to practice discernment and love. It beckons us to live in love, to live in God, and to let God live in us. Chapter 5 of 1, John wraps up the book with an assurance. The final chapter reinforces the central themes of the book and leaves us with a sense of victory and assurance in our faith. It emphasizes the importance of believing in Christ, the Son of God. This belief is not a passive act, it is an active, ongoing commitment that shapes our lives and actions. The chapter also talks about victory in Christ. 
It tells us that everyone born of God overcomes the world and our faith is the victory that has overcome the world. This victory isn't just for a select few, but for all who wholeheartedly believe and put their trust in Christ. Finally, the chapter provides us with the assurance of eternal life. It assures us that God has given us eternal life and this life is in His Son. Chapter 5 leaves us with a sense of victory and assurance in our faith. We've journeyed through the Book of 1 John, a journey of love, light, and truth. We began our exploration with Chapter 1, where we were reminded of the eternal life that was with the Father and has been revealed to us. The second chapter taught us about the importance of obedience to God's commandments as a sign of our love for Him. In the third chapter, we discovered the profound love of God which calls us His children. Venturing into the fourth chapter, we were invited to test every spirit to discern whether they are from God. And finally, in the fifth chapter, we learned about the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. The central theme that resonates throughout this epistle is the call to love one another, living in light and truth. The Book of One John invites us all to live in love, walk in light, and stand in truth. May this journey inspire us to embrace these principles in our lives.